Hey guys, just coming at you with a different type of video today. It's going to be a discussion video, and I also have a special guest. This is my niece. Yes, I am her real niece. She's 18 years old, and I'm 21, but yes, her mom is my sister, so she's my niece. <laughs> um, we're just going to be talking about a very trending topic in the African-American women. I guess they talk about it a lot. It's Team Natural versus Team Relax. I don't know if you guys know, since I do wear a lot of weave in my videos, but I am Team Relax. Um, I'm just stretching my relaxer right now, so I have a protective style in it, but um, I will be getting a relaxer shoot soon and showing you guys updates on that. But we're just going to start our topic. We're just going to be talking general discussion and asking each other questions, so I hope you guys enjoy. So, Edwidge, what made you... Um, <laughs> want to go natural. Okay, I wanted to go natural because my aunt, they went natural. Of course, not her, but um, they went natural and I seen their growth and I seen the styles they were doing and plus I started watching YouTube videos on natural hair and general hair care and that inspired me to go natural when I saw the growth that they were having and just the whole thing just inspired me. So, I transitioned for four months and natural. <laughs> and I remember the day she did her big chop, I came over and seriously her hair was like this long and it, like I won't lie, like she really has had some growth and I, like my sisters, they ha they're natural and I have seen growth in their hair so I'm not even putting natural down because I know that the hair does grow faster but it's just not for me. <laughs> I just can't do it. So I used to say the same thing, <laughs> trust me, I used to say the same thing. What's the hardest thing about being natural? The hardest thing about being natural is the amount of work that goes into being natural. I'm telling you, especially if you have the kinky, coily, coarse hair, you have to make sure your hair is moisturized. You have to make sure that your hair is always done. I can't just say, oh, I'm just going to get up and not do anything, or I'll just go around looking crazy. I have to put in work for my hair to look good, and that's probably the hardest part. I would say the hardest thing about being relaxed is having to wait to get the next relaxer because you can't over process your hair. You have to wait. And usually I wait about 12 weeks, 3 months, something like that. But I do stretch my relaxers for a really long time because I do like to wear weave. But that's the hardest thing is just having to wait and having to deal with the new growth and not being able to like just have the the hair that you can put the comb through. Like, I'm sorry, but I love that. I, I just like to take a comb and put it through my hair. <laughs> um, I think that's what I miss about being um, relaxed. I miss feeling my hair on my shoulders. I miss just being able to put it in a ponytail. I think that when I was relaxed, I don't know, it was just like something different. So I'm definitely excited to straighten my hair once I hit a year or something like that. And I actually think that a lot of relaxed girls, they take way more care of their hair when they're relaxed. But if, what they don't understand is, like, when you're relaxed, you have to take care of your hair, too. And it can be strong. It can be healthy. It can grow. So if they took as much energy into taking their care when it's relaxed, then they wouldn't really need to go natural. Or I know sometimes it's, like, just you want to go natural because you don't want to look like everybody else or you just want to go back to your roots or whatever, but I don't know. Like, you can be relaxed and have healthy hair, too. I, with relaxed, they're not saying, like, if you're, like, if you're relaxed, you don't have healthy hair, but, like, the relaxer, it slowly breaks your hair down and your hair starts getting thin. I remember before, when I first started getting relaxers, my hair was thick. I couldn't even put it in the right ponytail. My ponytails were thick and nice and full, and then by the time I got to, like, 8th grade, ninth grade, like, in that area, my hair started thinning, and my ponytails, my hair could easily go in ponytail, my ponytails would be thin, and when my hair would be, when I would have new growth, my ends would be, would still be straight, and they would still be stringy looking, and that, to me, is, like, a no-go. I hate thin hair. I don't think it goes with me. I'm used to having my hair thick, and when my hair started thinning, I just didn't like that. But when I did have relaxer, towards the end, I started watching YouTube videos. Um, I used to watch 
You Love Meg. I used to watch her all the time, how she had her omelet oil. I bought that. I used cat, um, shea butter because I started watching videos too, but I don't know. Just once your hair spins, it's really hard to go back. Yeah, it's very useful to watch these YouTube videos and get tips and advice from other people that are going through the same thing. Like if you're transitioning, watch people that are transitioning because their tips could possibly help you. Because um, I know I do watch some relaxed girls and like their tips do help me and hopefully like my hair can be as long as theirs because I do watch Few Love Megs. I don't know if you guys know who that is, but she's a very big relaxed person. So, yeah. Um, are there any tips that you would give somebody that is transitioning or is thinking about going natural? Okay, my tip is transition as long as you can. Please, like, I don't know. If I could go back, I'd probably cut my hair at this stage. Like, about the month, you know, with this length I'm at right now. I would not. I repeat, not cut my hair how short I did. Because it was torture having to do my hair and go to the school. It was so embarrassing. I just couldn't deal. But, um, so I would say transition as long as you can. And don't get discouraged. Um, just keep going. If you want to go natural, go natural. Don't really care what nobody else is saying. Because, um, I went natural and people are like, don't, Edward, your hair's long. Why would you do that? But then once they seen how my hair was growing, they were like, oh my goodness. And that's what you're going to get. So it's going to pay off. And also, I'll give the same advice to a relaxed person. Don't feel pressure to go natural. Like, if you really think that you can take care of your hair and have it be healthy while you're relaxed, then stay relaxed. You don't have to go natural. Like, sometimes I feel like natural people try and force it on relaxed people to go natural. But not every, not, being natural is really not for everybody. So just everybody be you. Be yourself. You know, do what you have to do for your hair and how you want to look. Um, anything you want to ask me to you relax? Um, what do you don't like? What you don't like about being, what don't you like about being relaxed? Um, what I don't like about being relaxed. Basically just having to wait for relaxers pretty much till the next time. And, um, also it, I like, I seriously think it's harder to be relaxed than natural because you have to take care of your hair way more because like, okay, you can't, like a relaxed per or a natural person, they can go to sleep without, you know, wrapping their hair. A natural, uh, a relaxed person, you have to, you don't have your silk scarf, put it on your head, make sure it doesn't come off in the middle of the night. You know, you have to be prepared. So I think it's, for me, I think it's harder to be relaxed. I completely disagree. Because if you're natural and you don't put your silk scarf on your head, your hair, when you wake up the next morning, you will have dry, dry hair. And there's, you don't know dry hair unless you have natural hair. Because when you're relaxed, when your hair is dry, it's still kind of like, oh, I could put it in a ponytail and just, you know, whatever. But when you're relaxed and your hair is dry, it is shrunken, shrunken up. You, your hair just looks crazy. It looks like little, little things. I can't come up with the word, but it, you really can't style it, do nothing with it. And with, with the natural hair, you have to put so much work into it. You have to moisturize your hair every single day. You cannot slack on it with an, um, relaxed hair. You can just, you know, get your perm, leave it for two weeks, wash your hair. With relaxed hair, you have to constantly wash and, um, deep condition. Now, all wait, of I that. gotta cut you off. Now, my relaxed girls know we have to do more than that. We cannot just yeah. wait two weeks. We co-wash. We do a lot of the same things that these natural girls do, and they don't really even realize that because, we don't just, oh, per, oh, we get a relaxer and, oh, we're done. We have to take care of it, too. We have to do a lot of stuff to maintain it. And so I think it's, well, maybe it's balanced on who has the harder hand to deal with. I still think us natural girls have it, have a harder time dealing with our hair and have to take care of it more. Oh, I have a very good question for you. Do you ever think you'll go relax again? No, because I went through too much pain, blood, sweat, and tears to go natural, and I feel like if I want the straight hair, 
I want the straight look, I can easily go get my hair blown out and straightened and get the same look. But once I put that creamy crack in my hair, I would have to cut it up again and do all this mess, and I'm not going back. So this is staying. If I want straight hair, I'm just going to straighten it. Um, and I guess I'll answer that question for myself. Do I ever want to go natural? Would Did, you ever? Would I ever? I seriously don't think I would because, like, I, like, like, I'm not the one to sit here and always be in my hair doing something to my hair. Because, like, seriously, guys, every time I am around her, she is doing something to her hair. She she has some kind of oil or moisturizer, something in her hair. And I can't just deal and sit and just sit there and do that. Like, like I like to just, you know, put my little wrap on and then be good. But they, they, they do do a lot of stuff to their hair, and I can't said? do that. So, I don't think that I would ever go natural, like, but, like, I don't think it's bad to go natural, but, like, I just, for me, personally, I just don't think I would go natural. But, hey, you never know, I might change my mind one day. What she said, basically, um, was saying that it is harder to go natural, because, to have natural hair, because you were like, I'm always doing something to my hair. They always have to do this to their hair. I could just wrap well, my hair up. You want to do that to me. <laughs> you don't have to do it. No, I don't know. Like, I think it's equally balanced. You have a hard time with your hair. I have a hard time with my hair. You have to do a lot of work. Both sides have to do a lot of work. Like, it's it's sim plain and simple as that. Um. So, guys, hopefully you like this discussion. Um. Please leave feedback, leave any questions you have for us. If you guys want to see more of my niece, please like, <laughs> comment, something. Tell, tell us and we will get back to making more videos. Um, so don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching this video.